Hi Internet! Meta League brings you to the Metaverse where I, Metalia Shamara, will take you all through the world of games and gaming. Today, we will take a look at how to make the best out of your double aqua plan team in Axie Infinity. Meet my frontliner, my tank, the plant. He has the maximum health. He has an energy stealer card and a couple of shield oriented or defensive cards. My midline aqua is a solid brick wall at times capable of massive shields. My Axie here has a card capable of increasing its attack while playing against some plant, reptiles and dust class Axies, although by its natural class it should be disadvantaged against these classes. My backliner is this cute little aqua who is capable of healing and can regain as much as 80 points per attack. So you can see how my team is well balanced and capable of taking on pretty much any kind of team. This is a pretty solid build for beginners to experiment with. In the game, each card that you get is from one of the four body parts of the axes that you have. You get two of each card from each part from every axe in the three member axe team that you take to battle. Your card deck consists of 24 cards and the deck resets around round 4 or 5. Let's take this team out for a spin. My opponent has a plant, a beast and a bird. I find saving up my energy by skipping the first round a real foolproof strategy, especially if the opponent is a healer. This only doesn't work if my opponent steals all the energy that I save. Let's check out what cards the opponents can play. The plant here has the usual defensive October Treat and the Carrot Hammer card, with the energy stealing card Vegetal Bite and the damage stealing Prickly Trap. The bird has a backdoor card targeting the fastest taxi, two major damage stealers Air Force One and Risky Feather and a regular damage card, Illumined. The Beast has two strong combos, a card ensuring critical strike which can churn energy while combined with Ivory Stab here. A real strong team right there. I'm gonna shield up my plant with the October Treat and try and steal one energy with the Vegetal Bite and also try the Anesthetic Bait in case his bird attacks. Oh no, looks like he used his backdoor card and my backliner aqua isn't going to survive this round. Well, at least I got to steal one energy here and deal some damage to the plant in the process. I'm going to have to split my cards among my remaining axes because I'm not sure who'll get attacked at this point. If I play all the cards from one Axie and my opponent kills that Axie before it gets the chance to play the card, then I lose that card and the energy that I used on it. Let me also try and gain some energy while I'm at it. Oh no, he just stole the energy that I just gained. I split up my cards again among these two. Let me also try and steal more energy here. Haha. <laughs> He tried to steal energy from me. Glad I didn't have any. I just stole one. So now I'll have this one and two energy that I'll be getting from the next round. That plant has only 5 HP left. I could play one card in my aqua and finish him off even if he puts up a shield. But since I don't have many strong attack cards, I'll save the risky fish. Cause I get only two of them until the deck resets.
I don't have many choices on my plant here, so I'll go with this. Splitting my cards here might save my backliner in case the bird uses its back door again. Yay! I killed the beast. Now with only one axie left, even with that extra energy, Looks like this will be an easy win for me. Splitting my cart again. Oh no, there goes my backliner too. Looks like this will be a one-on-one -on -one with my plant against this bird. The advantage the bird has here is its speed and the fact that I have less choice for attack cards on my plant. But I have a class advantage here and my cards get an additional 15% damage against a bird. I'm glad my anesthetic bait got to stun this bird to make it miss at least one card So, it will be slow, but since my opponent didn't save up on energy, I'll definitely win. Yay! I won! Let's play another one. That's interesting. Almost an equal match. My opponent has also a double aqua plant. Let's sneak a peek at their cards. The plant seems to have the usual cards. The Nemo Aqua here has one healing part and a bug splat which I don't have to worry about much since I don't have a bug axie. And the angry lamb? I better watch out for that. The backliner is also a Nemo with the usual cards, a clam slash, which I don't need to worry about since I don't have a bug, a beast or a mech. I'm just gonna steal some energy in this round. Or should I do some damage? Hmm, let's see. Nope, I think I'll just stick with stealing since I don't have any high damage cards. Looks like my opponent is stacking up on energy. My plant didn't get any heavy shielding cards this round. Should I attack his plant? Hmm, let me see. How much shield can he put up? I'm gonna gamble with this attack, even if he might play a shield. I only wish I had better cards drawn in this round. I'll go ahead and play one more since I want to damage the plant a bit. I wonder why our opponent played the tail slap, because it only gives you additional energy when playing it with a combo. Oh well, looks like this one got the stun anyway. Oh, disaster! All the energy I saved up is gone. And worse, my opponent now has extra energy for the next round. My plant is in last stand. 
I could take advantage of this since my opponent's team doesn't have a backdoor card, since the Axes only attack the nearest target. I wonder why my opponent did that and wasted one energy on removing a stun. I'm gonna skip once more since my plant is still alive, but maybe my midliner might take some damage if my opponent decides to split the cards among their Axes. Lucky me! Glad I didn't attack to break this plant's shield and give my opponent any more energy. Now that I have 6 energy, I can think about destroying his plant and attacking the midliner a bit. Since my backliner is going first, I just have to give enough cards to kill the plant so that I don't waste cards. Staying ahead in terms of speed at this point can be a huge advantage but I'm going to save up one speed cut for the next round since I have already drawn two of these and I won't be getting it again. Oh, barely survived that but looks like I'll be taking out the opponent's midliner though. Now both my axes are leading the round, so I can peacefully play any card I want. I'm just gonna play the tail slap here without the combo since I really don't need the energy at this point. Now there you go, another victory. Let's play one more and see if I can make this a hat trick. That's interesting, a couple of plants and an aqua. Let's check out their cards. The aqua here is a regular koi with all the heavy attack cards. The midliner is almost generic plant except for the wooden stab which triggers more damage if the axis shield is broken. The leading plant is a regular one with the energy stealing vegetal bite. I'm gonna skip the first turn again. You see how the strategy is working out for me? Ah, that's a nice move. Playing Carrot Hammer and Vegetal Bite ensures that you get the energy somehow, either by stealing from your opponent or when your opponent tries to break your shield. I'm gonna shield up my plant for this round since I know my opponent gained some energy in the previous round. Ah, the anesthetic baits work like a charm in saving me from this aqua. I'll wait for some more energy in the next round. And again, my opponent seems to be falling for that a lot, huh? I'm gonna lose my plant in this round since I don't have any shield cards left 
but I still have four energy left for me to try and finish off the opponent's plant. Oops, one card got wasted. I thought the plant would go into last stand. Oh no, he stole the only energy that I had gained. Anyway, since my plant just survived, perhaps I can go ahead and skip this turn to save up on some energy while sacrificing my plant. Ah, again! If I had attacked, I would have given my opponent two energies since two carrot hammers were played. I can't kill the midliner plant here in this round since I don't have many attack cards to choose from. But I'll try and gain some energy while I'm at it. Hmm, oh no, bad move, it got stolen again. Looks like my opponent is stocking up on all the energy that they can get. My midliner barely made it. Oops, his plant killed me in its last stand. And it's still alive! Oh, wonderful, the Blood Moon Curse. This happens after round 9. Each Axie loses a particular HP at the end of each round. So, I'll skip this turn again. In the first round, we lose 50 HP each. That killed that plant. Now for the Aqua. The advantage here is that my Axie is faster, so I'll be playing first. So, four cards should do it. Another victory! And a hat trick! Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, do leave us a bit of love. Share this video among fellow Axie trainers and subscribe to our channel for more on games and gaming. This is Metalia Shamara. See you in the next one. Farewell.